it always helps when I unmute the microphone there, doesn't it? <laughs> but, um, hello there, everyone, and, and, uh, and uh, oh, hang the notification hasn't popped up. But, uh, welcome in, Chantel, and thank you for the, uh, thank you for the raid. We, uh, we're just starting out. This is a, um, well, we haven't played this game for probably about a year on stream, uh, but this is a Hardscape Shipbreaker. Uh, it's a nice relaxing game, uh, at least I find it, it is. Uh, we have, um, oh, uh, hello there, welcome in, uh, Poo Poo as well there. Um, I said this is a nice relaxing game. There is a campaign mode, which is more intense, but we're doing the relaxing, the the, the nice OCD of dismantling a ship, because that's what this uh, this this game is um, uh, all about. So we're going to go to a shipyard. I just noticed as well because. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you for the, uh, the the follow there as well, and uh, welcome in. <laughs> um, I'm going to we'll get we'll get straight into a ship. So that we can, uh, we've got all these new ones to choose from as well. Like, I didn't even know these, because it's been that long since I played. I haven't seen that. There's got these Atlas ones I've never seen before. But I chose the Gecko Stargazer for this evening. So we'll get straight into it. I'll just turn that off until the music stops playing. <laughs> uh, but for those who have not seen this game before, though, um, it is, as I said, it's a ship dismantling game. Uh, if you... Um, if you play like the campaign mode, you have like a massive debt that you have to pay off, um, and you have like time basically to dismantle the ships. But I, I can't be of any of that sort of stress. So, <laughs> so yeah, we are in space in a um, a space dock, and we have a randomly generated ship, which we are going to uh, start dismantling nice and slowly. Different elements from the ship. Some things have to go at the uh, the furnace. Some things can be processed, and some of the more technological items can be uh, reused and placed in the green bins. Um, you see here that there's uh, we have different tools, I should say as well, to dismantle the ships. For those that have not seen this game before, uh, different surfaces as well react different ways to our cutting tools. Uh, like these pl uh, bits here are really easy to cut away. Uh, the inside of the ship may or may not be under pressure. So we have to depressurize the ship, otherwise we'll have an explosive decompression, which will launch us off into space. <laughs> okay, let's have a little zoom around though and see what see what we've got here. Just see inside there. Oh, I'm just realizing as well that Ada did not not do a proper shout out there either. But uh, if, if you say hello, Chant uh, Chantel, Ada then should uh, give you a shout out, or if, uh, if anyone else would like to give uh, Chantel a shout out. Thanks again for the uh, for the raid at the start of the day. Were you guys still on the uh, on the farming sim that you um, that we were watching earlier on? Ooh, hang on let's get uh, let's get our cutting tool. Should we take? We'll take these um, these wings off first. Let's just get a hold on the hull there. So I said we have different tools. I'll track the hole so you can see. That's a basic cutter. We can also... Oh, we can't do it on that bit there. We can also cut um, lines through. If I get that, we can separate these bits here. So you see, we can cut through to slowly dismantle the ship. Actually, that's one entire panel that's already loose. Uh, right, this is going to the barge because this can be reused. Uh, let's just grab our grappling gun. Pull that out. No, 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 too, too much. <laughs> let's just chuck that down there with a tether. Because we're in free play mode as well, we don't have to worry about oxygen. Uh, and we have as many tethers as we want. Otherwise, under normal circumstances, you have to pay uh, at the poop as well for your oxygen. Okay, so that's one method of dismantling uh, those. I'll show you a couple of well, there's like, well, there's two methods really of. Let's go for the destructive one. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, ooh, can we intersect both with a single charge? Oh, I don't think we can. No, that's only got half of that, isn't it? Alright, let's just... 
very carefully so as not to damage any more. Put some charges down. There we go. Grab that and we'll slowly push it down. Actually. It's not explosive. There is things in the inside of the vessel. Which, uh, when we... When we get to it, some of the, like the engine components, the core, for example. Uh, if we don't handle it with care, we could cause this entire section here where the engine will be located to uh, detonate. <laughs> I do have some clips of that somewhere on the, uh, on the channel there. And you can see these bits here where we shaved them off. Let's go with the... Uh, which one is that one? I want this cutter. We'll take all four of these off and then we'll daisy them together. Because these bits here, we can uh, we can vaporize them. Oh, our cutter has overheated. So also starting out, then what's everyone's egg count up to? There we go. Right, what we're going to do is we'll chain those together, and then we can drag both of those together. So at ninety-five for Wolf, you're approaching that one hundred. <laughs> Was that thing still... Oh, no, it just hadn't... Uh, the momentum hadn't carried it. And we have four and a bit thousand of the Ada eggs. I'm just going to clean up this bit here. Ah, uh, see what I mean? It's a debris flowing around. Try to dismantle these in a, in a clean way. Okay, we'll take the ones on the other side now as well. Actually, we'll grab where I'm onto the hole. Might be a bit easier. I'm just seeing now the, the entrance to the inside is, uh, is open. Okay, here we go. So what sort of trouble has everyone been causing today? those can I reach those supports from here or are they gonna be out both out of range there's one I noticed since we last played as well ooh. let's just grab that there uh, no we can only get as far as this dock here <laughs> if we get out of range of this uh, of this dock um you know, you float off into in space. <laughs> a few things that when we when we played this game in the past on stream, um, there's been a few like explosive decompressions and engine explosions, which have uh, propelled us <laughs> at speed into um, wrong, wrong hand, wrong hand. Oh bugger! <laughs> propelled us uh, away into uh, into space. Right, there we go. They're, they're all cut off now. Uh, what was the other button again? Alright, that button is for the right hand. <laughs> I was trying to press C. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking on there. These bolts on the back here, the connecting bits, are for processing, but there's no way to get those off. But we can get more money just by taking the entire unit and putting it in the barge. Oh, I think we're getting a bit close. Yeah, we're getting close to the furnace. Right, let's get our grapple, and I will we'll connect those together there. And hopefully, 
before they, the tethers break. <laughs> oh, no, I think they may break. I don't know, they might have enough momentum to drag all four pieces down in one. There they go. Yep, they're all down there. Is there anything else on the outside that we can immediately... Right, that's for the barge. I, I could probably rip that straight off. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> what was the rip off button again? Oh, I know, I, I can see it's got... It's got four little bolts on it. Alright, let's grab on there. Some bits that you can like, you can like yank out with the grapple too. Like the stuff inside of the cockpit will just yank out with the um, with the grapple. We we'll, like break it from its um, its sockets. Actually, we're playing this game here today. Next week we have a very similar game. We have the game moving out, which is going to be our Sunday night game. There you go. You see, that's now away. That should have enough momentum to carry itself down there. I think there was another. Yeah. See, this wing as well, on the inside, there'll be a set of bolts that we have to take out. <laughs> but we'll worry about that once we get the whole plating off. <laughs> Let's just uh, very carefully. Take the bolts off this antenna dish. There we go. Let's just. Nope, nope, nope. That way. <laughs> I think once it starts going in one direction. <laughs> Still not going. Back here, back here. In the hole. Right, so we will just get back here. <laughs> Let's just throw it in. <laughs> Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay, let's have a little look. Do do I risk taking the caps off the engine from the outside? Oh, that's it. It's a risk. Should, should, should. I could, I could wind up causing the engine to blow. Let's investigate the inside. We'll probably need to cause an explosive decompression as well, because you know, Sunday. <laughs> right. So it doesn't have an external door. Oh, it would be really nice if this one was not pressurized in any way. Um. Okay, let's. Air lock pressure levels increasing. Yeah, life support system is on somewhere. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find the life support. Turn it off. There's loads of junk inside of here. You can go to the extreme of taking like every single light fitting off as well, uh, which I have done a couple of times. <laughs> Okay, we've got a door there. Let's see what we can find. The life support thing looks like an air conditioning unit. Um, yeah, everything in here looks like it's all broken, abandoned. <laughs> Which is the way? Oh yeah, that's the way that we came there. So that must be the hatch to. Because we can get around the. Because see all these little boats here. We're going to do each of those so that we can take the hull apart and crack the whole. Like we'll end up cracking the whole ship in two. Uh, it's usually the way it goes. Um, I said that they've changed a lot of the things it would seem since I last played. Um, right, see, inside of there, we have to very carefully when the time comes, we'd have to take each of the uh, the side panels off carefully. But as soon as we've removed the core, we have like seconds to get it in the in the green area. So that'll be a dead last thing. It's all this junk as well that's floating around. 
Uh, let's see. Where is the egg, the life support system? All right, that's the two engine pods. Now there's the a shutoff valve for it. I'm not seeing the big air conditioning unit type thing, which is the life support. Oh, hang on, this might be it now. Hmm. No, maybe it isn't. Let's go up to the cockpit and see if we can cause a <laughs> decompression. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I filled this up with junk, haven't I? Ah, no worries, everyone to the panic rooms. <laughs> Wolf is away to work. Okay, so this is the unit I was looking for. Now the question is now it's sealed that door, hasn't it? Ah, oh, it's always a pain in the ass to remember which way around you gotta do these. I think we are gonna have to cause some kind of a some kind of a decompression. <laughs> Unless we take that door off. Yeah, just, just grab that and just glide it over there. Because none of you guys saw a unit which looks exactly like that unit there. Blue light on it. I haven't missed something in here. Where was the atmosphere getting cycled from before? If not from there? Oh, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Does that mean that this air... Hang on. Uh, it used to tell us somewhere where if we are in an atmosphere or not. Uh, unpressurized. Oh, that's good. We're going to crack open the doors then. I would like to have done that a bit more tidier. Okay, what have we got here? So how are we getting... We must have to crawl above the hole. Alright, let's get into the hole. Actually, can I open this entirely to space? Because we're depressurized now, we might as well open the doors. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I hate to lose... Materials. Bye bye door. <laughs> okay, does this door look like it may be pressurized? It was. <laughs> oh, look, we've managed to dislodge one of the panels as well for the ceiling. Alright, I think we're fairly safe to say there is now no atmosphere on board this ship. <laughs> but we can get into the into the uh like underneath the hull and we can start stripping away all of these various sections. I think before we start messing around with the engine, uh we will strip all of these out. Uh what's this here? Temperature control unit. Uh what else have we got back here? Is there enough space to squeeze in there? Yep, there is. Yeah, so... Yeah, before I start doing the ejection switches, we need to clear... Oh, what's this? We've got these up here as well. Oh, that's something that nicely exploded in our faces. <laughs> um, okay, let's start off. These are the, the, the insides of those fins that we were looking at before. So... We can dislodge those where we can like push ourselves out. It's 
two. Slide underneath here. need to go. Can we just push it out with our thrusters? Right, this whole thing is for the barge. Right, which way is the barge? Barge is that way. Hopefully we can get enough momentum on it. Yep, there it goes. See, most of the whole plates here as well I'm seeing actually can't do we have enough power to no I was wondering if we could just yank them off there but no not just yet right, grab onto the engine what could possibly go wrong there One last bolt. Oh, that's right, self and safety. Oh, what could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> Come on, get out there. There we go. Get that down the barge. Oh, hang on. Oh, that, yeah, that, that antenna. I didn't see that big one sticking out of that one. But it looks like that's for the barge as well. It looks like the barge is a lot deeper than what it used to be. Unless it's just because this is a big ship. Right, can we get the cargo bay doors off, maybe? In some of the larger ships as well, um, you've got, like, you know, huge cargo, like, like almost like multi-deck kind of sized. Nope, nothing on that. Alright, let's just get back in there and just start stripping the hull out. <laughs> Eventually bits will start floating away and then when they do, we can start hauling it off to processing. The sooner we can get these bits out... Okay, where should we start? Alright, that's got to go with the barge. Alright, let's just grab the hull there. Try my best not because if we, we touch one of those it'll that'll explode, which will cause the engine to explode. Right in our faces. The chain reaction will probably hit the core, which is just on the other side of there as well. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> See all these individual lights as well can be taken to the barge. Right, we will go down the hole, take out each of these on the support. I ah, see. There's one big piece which has come loose. Another piece loose. And the ship might not be as bad as what I was thinking. Sometimes I can spend like hours dismantling a ship piece by piece. But if these are going to come off in big hole sections. Oh, where's the spine going? The spine's going to processing as well. Oh, uh, eve, eve uh, evening, JD. Busy stripping a ship. <laughs> Has that other whole section come out before? I think it's only the rear sections there which have which have come out. So what sort of trouble have you been up to today then, JD? <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to try and push this uh, fragment out here. Come on. Uh. <laughs> uh, 
Right, you think you'd like to hold it, but rather than that, just, yeah, just press ourselves into it. Alright, we're on the outside now, so you can see the few sections which we've managed to dislodge. And by the looks of it, these are all for processing. So we get our grapple. Actually, how many, how many sections of the hull? Four sections at least there. I don't think... I don't think the tethers will be able to pull the weight if I was to chain them. Let's just try and get one one piece down there and see what it. I suppose I want to, but that was probably one of the heaviest pieces. Just checking here. This is going to processing. <laughs> um, just a relaxing, relaxing Sunday. Uh, JD. <laughs> Actually, it's lost momentum there now. You're pleased to know, though, the uh, the server is now back up and running with uh, 118 one on. <laughs> it took absolutely ages to render in all those chunks. I'm pleased that I was originally I was going to do it last night. Uh, I'm pleased I didn't. <laughs> I would have been up till the middle of the the middle of the night, like well, the middle of the day rather. <laughs> All right, let's just see if we connect those. Ooh. Go on, you can pull that whole plate behind you. I'm going to reconnect that one there because it's probably going to break its tether. Go on, down the hole. <laughs> They're slowly going to go down there. Okay, is there any more loose hull plates? I think this looks like there's a gap in that one now. Ooh, just looking there. Cool the pipes. We have to be careful of those. Yeah, let's chuck that down there. Nope. Getting too close. Get the next bit of the hole. I think we've decoupled. Yeah, I think that's probably it from that section. I don't think we've. I don't think we got the bit for the bridge. Now I know I've streamed this game like five or six times before, JD. But have you seen this game before? Because it has been quite a long time since uh, since I did it on stream. Ooh, what's that? Oh, no, no, quick, 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 back here, back here. No, 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 yank it, yank it. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we almost lost something that was supposed to go to the barge. Because <laughs> once those tethers are on. <laughs> right, is there anything else on the underhull? Yes, there is. Let's take this um, sensor tower off. Anything else on the on the hole? No, I think it's all right. I think that's everything that's on there. Um, they're going to, those bits that had the wings on are going to processing anyway, so it'll be all right. Um, I don't want to touch the engine pods at all yet until we decide. Well, actually, until we get the rest of the hull off. Um, are any of these loose? Did I take these ones out? doesn't look like it okay let's just go and very carefully cut off the rest of the hull we'll maybe take the spine of the ship out as well I just I don't want to do anything that's going to knock the engine pods or blow up the reactor because <laughs> that would be a technical problem that uh... <laughs> I've uh, not, not really seen this one well um, but kind of like a spaceship recycler um, we have various tools to cut. We get like, get a ship, and we can, you know, cut it up. And we have 
There's the furnace there to just melt everything and destroy it. There's processing, which is to recycle a component. Or there's like technical bits, um, you know, things like the air, um, the engine, uh, the reactor cores and stuff you can place down there to be like reused as is. Um, so we're, we're recycling a spaceship. <laughs> Uh, if we were play this is well, this is just in free play mode. If we were playing in um, like the campaign mode, you start off, you've got like a crazy debt. I suppose kind of like the good life, because in the good life you've got like a stupid debt to pay off, haven't you? But in this game, in this one, you've got like a crazy debt, and you have to dismantle the ships. But the way that it works in the campaign is you don't have to strip the entire ship. Um, you get like basically contracts that say, oh, you know, they the, the only want like the engine or the life support systems from a ship. Um, and you go in, you've got to get in and quickly strip it out as quickly as possible. So, uh, if you it, within the time limit, because there's like a time limit on them, which is why I play in free mode, because I can't bother with time trials. <laughs> but uh, you might have to like strip out sections of the hull to to pull it out, like, like like what we're doing here. We're trying to get if we can get the the, the ship down to a, uh, just its frame, we'll be able to pull the engine core out like with like minimal stress. <laughs> But we've gotten a good chunk of the of the hull here out. We we did have one explosive. Oh yes, because if if the, if it's under atmosphere, uh, you can have an explosive decompression. But we've already done that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go down the inside of the hull, and we are going to cut each of these supports off the spine. So that all these other hull plates will float away. <laughs> oh, there's the. Oh, health and safety, that one. <laughs> Got space. Now, have to be careful of that pipe because if that pipe ruptures, there'll be issues. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. Um. Can I push this section away? Or am I really stuck? Oh, there we go. Oh, get out, we're stuck. <laughs> Alright, so these bits here floated away. I think... I think I'll take those. And we'll try and stick them straight in the hole. Just to give ourselves some, some space to work. from the other side. Let's take another tether on. If we're playing in the campaign as well, we would we'd have to like buy those individual tethers. Same as we have to like you have to like uh, manage your oxygen supply as well. Okay, I think this bit of hole here is loose as well. Can we Yes, that bit's free. Okay, now that's a bit we've got to work out for. <laughs> we cut the outline of our hand. <laughs> the screw's flying around. <laughs> going to add flavour and excitement. 
Okay, how much of this hole is now loose? Both sides of that come loose. We missed a bolt somewhere. Oh yeah, that it's got the cockpit on it, so that's going to be connected via the cockpit, so I have to dismantle that frame before I can get that tube for the cockpit out. Um, right, if that piece there will just stay there and be quiet, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get these other loose bits out of the way. Don't hit the pipes, don't hit the pipes. Can we just rotate this a bit? Detonate. No, 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 no. Ooh. Gently. That is going to float under the green line and not smash on the side of the barge. Or it's going to stop, lose all of its momentum just in front of the barge. There we go. <laughs> Watch it under that green line. here oops wrong one a bit excessive for a bottle of water <laughs> and there were some other bits here as well wasn't there Save a few uh, light bulbs if we can. <laughs> I think most of them are going to go in the recycling. Okay, let's. Is that too heavy? We can cut objects, well, certain objects anyway, into smaller pieces. Um. Not this piece though. It'll highlight the pieces like that where we get the, the line telling us which way we can cut it. Sometimes there's like tiny little points where we can like cut through, but. I don't know, are these bits? No. Well, we can't cut through any of those. Because that's quite heavy. Maybe we have to use two tethers. Yeah, it's not really moving that fast, is it? Chuck two on. There we go. Oh, there was another light bulb on there. Chuck that down. <laughs> oh, I just realized I never checked the top side. No, it's all for processing. One of the tethers is burnt out. Soon we'll get that down the hole. And caught on the sides.
grab another one. <laughs> Since in this mode we have infinite tethers. There we go. Okay, starting to look a little bit more stripped down. We'll try and take the upper hull off now, and that'll just leave us with the the front bit, which will have to come off in multiple segments. And the um, like the internal cabins and the engines and stuff. So has anything got any yeah, get my words out. Has anyone got anything fun planned for this week? What sort of mischief are you all up to? Yeah, well, let's just uh, turn around, because it might be easier just to pretend like this is the floor. Right, that's that bit of hole loose. Just check, yeah, yeah these are for processing. Oh, that bit's got the airlock on it. I have to cut away, cut away the airlock. I'll come back to that. See what we can move by pulling these ones off. Now, what's this? Uh, temperature control units. to the engine now. Once we get the rear sections clear as well, we'll be able to take out those explosive barrels. Oh, we've already cut that one. Doors are going to the furnace. Let's see if we can cut them off. Back to the cockpit. Oh, there's another, another set of these. Oh, of course, we orientated ourselves upside down, didn't we? Will that actually pull that off there? Oh, it will. Ooh. It did, but it did it aggressively. <laughs> Yeah, that should land in there. We'll know when she says account credit applied. If we had success. Of course, not light fittings. Oh no, they're not. That's definitely a light fitting though. We'll not save all the light fittings, especially from inside the cabin. We'll get a few of them. Throw that down there. Uh, evening, Chantel. Oh, we just lost a light thing. It'll burn up on re-entry. 
Uh, welcome in though, and, uh, and thank you for the raid there before. Although I don't think any of them stayed. <laughs> Uh, tonight we are stripping a ship. This is a nice, a nice relaxing game. You might probably like this one. Very sort of like uh, methodical. <laughs> slowly, slowly dismantling and stripping the ship bare. And recycling the different components. <laughs> um, I wonder if we should maybe try taking that that out. The temperature control unit. Can I pull it off of my tether? Yes. Right, let's get that out of here. Now, which way was it to the barge? I've got myself disorientated now. Uh, this whole we uh, weekend's been very weird for me, Chantel. I mean, when we streamed yesterday, I was convinced all day it was Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, that means that we could probably take out the spine now. Oh, actually, no, 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 I want to get these whole plates out of the way first. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the whole plates into the recycling. Because we did loosen them up. Well, we loosened up some of them anyway. Oh, is there enough power to pull that one? Yes. J just yesterday, Chantel, isn't it? <laughs> it's not an everyday occurrence. <laughs> You're always up to no good. Always causing trouble. <laughs> okay, that's that big hole played away. I can see that bit there looks like it's buckled. Can I pull that? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, right there, we pulled it out. Oh, and we also knocked the other piece of hole out of the way as well, which is handy. Uh, is there anything on the inside to salvage? I right, just grab the hole there. No, these two pieces are good to go straight into recycling. There's no, there's no components on them. Uh, okay, let's do that, and then we will chain these two together. So stay away from those pipes. Don't touch the pipes. Okay, those tethers are losing their... See, we'll just start moving something in one direction. just starts to move that way as is the issue in space <laughs> okay we still have the engine to deal with there's probably a computer console inside of there that we need to deactivate the the coolant system how are we going to get these doors off because we've got two big cargo bay doors I, mean, I could just burn them off. Uh, can we? Can. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's risk it. I don't know. This probably won't work. We'll try it anyway. <laughs> hang on, is this hold? Right, hang on. Oh, this is going to be precise. Can I get it on the seam? Oh, yes. Look at that. We cut it all the way down. What do you go and do that for? Oh, no, no, that's, that's, that's not separated. The panel might be separated, but I think there's still some bolts on the inside holding it in place. How am I going to separate those? 
Oh, yeah, I see where they're connected. How am I going to get that one done? How did you manage that then? Were you making a cup of tea or something? Uh, how am I going to get that off there? It's like just connected just there. I don't think it's connected here. Let's just have a... Can I get in? I can't get any closer. Oh no, no. Back here, back here, back here. Now I'm upside down and all confused. Which way are we facing? <laughs> Ah, uh, we we are on, on your own. How how am I going to cut that off without completely ruining this plate? All right, let's just just try and oh maybe me, oh right, maybe that might work. Hang on, we will experiment. Get the cutter out. <laughs> right, down. Where is it being held on exactly? Is it just here? Right, to the furnace. Yeah, I'd have to cut, just cut away the section of the hull, aren't I? We'll lose a bit of the door. I don't think we're going to get uh, this cut any other way. There we go, I think that's free now on that plate. I think I just need to separate it from this other plate now. I don't know there's no way that you can more precisely cut that, though. Okay, then. Let's line that up. Grapple. As long as it gets next to the furnace, I'll find it. <laughs> Oh, it might actually bat no for my bounce its way in. Deposit accepted. Oh, it did bounce its way in. Okay, let's get back to our door. Go do all this again for the other cargo bay door. Okay, is this free now? No, it is still connected, but this one here is now not connected. Okay, where is this one still connected? It's still connected just here. Shoot, sure, that's that door. Yeah, it's free, it's free. Before it changes its mind, and before we drift off into space. Grab that. Stick that in there. Oh, that's probably not going to go the way we want it. There's not much left for that door now, is there? Okay. 
Oh, not good. <laughs> oh, it's 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 going down processing. It would seem. Can I get that out of there? Nope. Falling into space. <laughs> nope, it's gone. Bugger. <laughs> okay, can't we find the ship? Actually, what was the button for the flashlight? I'm sure there was a flashlight in this game. Controls. We'll cut a scanner maybe. Oh, that's right. There was a scanner thing as well, wasn't there? Miscellaneous. Five. Yeah, so an hour ago, we could have turned the flashlight on and been able to see where we're going a bit more easily. <laughs> yeah, we have these little, like, x-ray views so we can see... Yes, all those engine components and stuff that we've got to strip. Okay, let's get this bit of... If there's nothing connected to it... We'll get this bit of the hole out of the way. I'll try pulling it out by hand. Is it moving? Come on. Ah, it's stuck on that other bit. Come on. There we go. It's free now. Grab another tether and stick that down there. Right, that's going to recycling. Let's get the cutter with the right head. Objects. See if we can cut the seams down again. Our thrusters to keep ourselves still. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, thank you for the host there, uh, Triple Cycle. Welcome in. What sort of trouble are you up to today then? It's, it's this little bit here, isn't it? Where it's it's like welded on in there. And I don't know how. Is there any way we can use the cutting tool that would only cut that small section? <laughs> Come on, let's try and line this up there. I just realised that there must be something going on with the bots tonight because they're not doing any of the any of the shout outs tonight, are they? Oh, did I turn? Oh yeah, I did turn it back on. Ah, let's go back in there. Come on. <laughs> ah, come on. Just get a hold of that bit of hole. All right. <laughs> so what you've been up to today? Um, this week, were you, were you causing, uh, out causing mayhem and chaos over New Year? <laughs> oh, right, we got it, we got it. Quickly, get the grapple, get the grapple. Wrong grapple. <laughs> oh, that's going to cause a mess. <laughs> Misfiring tethers. 
Don't do it. Don't yank the entire thing. It is. It's going to yank the entire thing. I wish I knew how to terminate tethers. Probably is like an obvious control for it. Right, we'll start that rotating. You know what I'm going to do? Just momentarily, I'm going to reboot Ada. Not much about tonight, but also the other bots don't aren't coming in with the host things. Press this button, followed by that button. Give her two minutes to reboot. I mean, watch to see which screen is she going to appear on. <laughs> Come on. Walk back in the Twitch. <laughs> Oh, it's strange. It's actually appeared in the right place. <laughs> okay, let's continue cutting this door and then see if Ada cooperates this time. So next time, in theory, if she's working, next time you type triple, she should automatically do a shout out. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong about today. Uh, oh, hang on, I don't want to cut this from this angle, I want to cut it from the other side. If we're going to knack up a sec section, I want it like, to be at least a big section that we're going to get money for. Right, there we go, that's that now separate. Um. She still didn't do it. Maybe she's just uh, she's just given up today. <laughs> but you you uh, you are able to um, yeah exactly. The bot says no. <laughs> uh, you, you are able to put your uh, your own shout out in though. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this one today. Right, let's just stick this in the recycling. <laughs> Ooh, no, no, oh, it's all gone wrong. Quickly, quickly. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, that's not going to go well. Come on, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Nope, it got drawn in. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that was like 15 minutes messing around with those cargo bay doors and we managed to lose both of them anyway. <laughs> so if, uh, if you played this one before, I just, I just think with, with the sort of games that you play, like so the, um, uh, you know, like the car mechanic ones and stuff like that, this one we have a spaceship and we are stripping it for parts. I don't think I'm going to bother dismantling that door. It was too much of a fanny on. Should we just erase the door? It'll take a tiny bit to evaporate it, but I think it'll be easier in the long run. We'll overheat our tool in the process. But if we let the, cool, the tool cool down... Yeah, there we go. Vaporized. <laughs> But that'll make it easier. But in uh, well, in this game though, um, uh, we have well, we have a ship, uh, we have a set of tools, and we have to um, uh, slowly strip it. <laughs> and we have different places where we have to recycle the materials. If you play it in the campaign mode, you're actually working off like a massive debt that you've got. Okay, can we get... Is this bit completely loose? I'm not sure if that's still got something attached to it. Can I... Move it? Yeah, that's loose. Right. Let's just use a tether. 
Oh, you got yourself a capture card. What uh, what sort, uh, sort did you get? I've got the um, H60S Plus or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> I used to have the Ava Media. Well, I say used to. It's, it's on the shelf there. Uh, the Ava Media um, Live Gamer Portable is what I used to use. But um, oh, bugger! I shouldn't have pressed that one. Right, let's just just grab that and see if I can pull this bit of hull, hull away. No, 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 no. Is it stopped? Almost did the processing by itself. <laughs> and it's away. Uh, right, which way is the ship? There it is. <laughs> See, I, I thought about getting the 4K one, but I, uh, the extra, like, 100 quid they wanted for it um, didn't justify it when, you know, Twitch is only 1080 anyway. <laughs> um, oh, hang on, I didn't check the reverse of that. Yeah, it looks like it's separate from the hole now, doesn't it? Does that mean you're going to be doing some more Xbox or PlayStation streams then? <laughs> With some of your other games? Is that going? Let's put another tether on it just to be sure. I, uh, I remember you saying that you were going to be doing some of that. I mean, I tried a few of those other ones as well. Um, didn't you know, d didn't get anything back from them? Uh, like no no viewers or anything like that. So I, that's why I never never bothered. <laughs> um, where are we going? I was saying that there was a, a South Korean one that I streamed on for a bit that used to get quite a few viewers. But the problem was I didn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take this temperature control unit and stick it on the barge. Can I get it enough momentum to get itself down there? It looks kind of like it's going in the right direction, doesn't it? I'm sure it'll find its way there. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, what do we think that one does? Where end of the ship we are? We're on the engine side of the ship, aren't we? Oh, what does this button do? It's still active. We will hang, we'll hang fire on dismantling that. We will take the spine off of the ship next. Alright, let's... There we go. <laughs> One there. You're flowing down, taking out these uh these bits here. Right, let's Cut this one here. Scroll down. You'll have to uh, send us your link uh, later on as well, so I can, uh, I can take a look at it. Beyond a triple madman, is it? <laughs> Thinking about getting mad. Has has your has your little friend uh, double posted his um? <laughs> Double posted his live notice today. <laughs> oh, did I separate all those other bits there? Uh, yeah, I think they're separate now. Where are they going? They're going to processing. 
Okay, let's just see if I can. This is where we find whether or not they're attached to anything. Nope, they're not. It's away. <laughs> Grab that one. Stick it down the hole. Oh, it looks like it's missing a bit, that one. Is it snapped off? Okay. Oh, right. I'm going to push this one out manually because I don't want it to hit the core by mistake. Because if it hits the core... <laughs> Chaos will ensue. <laughs> oh, is Ada starting to wake up now? <laughs> okay, that's that bit away. You've set it, set it on uh, on Discord. We'll have a look out there. <coughs> get my words up. We'll have a look at that after after the thingy here. I thought we'd upset you speaking to Discord because I saw that you were uh, you, you left the uh, left the server. So I'm thinking if if, if uh, thinking if I said something that's upset you. <laughs> Is there any more bolts? Is that all the bolts that are on this top section? So what I need to do as well, we're thinking about that, I need to tidy up. Because um, lots of the Discord servers that I'm in, I, I don't do anything with them anymore. Some of them are like, uh, are like dead ones. Right, let's get that one there. But uh, <laughs> I've been, <coughs> like I said before, I've, I've been chuckling away at myself uh, every day when you've been like leaving messages for that um, that other fella. <laughs> Tell them to stop, stop double posting it. He won't listen. <laughs> it just shows that he doesn't uh, actually read or interact with the group. <laughs> actually, can you remember the the other day when uh, when I was in? Ooh. I thought I hit the wrong thing. When, uh, when I was in uh, your stream thing there and I was telling you about there was a bloke on the um, on the thing who um, he came into the stream, he came into the Discord a few times and he was chatting away, but then uh, I, I told you that I wasn't helping anybody with any other technical support because uh, one of the members, um, as soon as they as soon as they got there, you know, they came in, they chatted, and as soon as I finished helping them, that's the last we ever heard of them. Uh, that was it. the reason that I've decided not to help anybody for a, a good month is uh, is actually because of him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the second that uh, that I fixed, you know, cause I did a remote desktop session to fix whatever problem it was. I can't remember now on his computer. That was a never spoke again. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I screw you guys. <laughs> Cause, uh, we even like raided him a few times. I sat through his tedious streams. <laughs> He's trying to get people to enter a raffle for 20 quid. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> Ooh, the ship has properly twisted over, hasn't it? Oh, there's a... Shit. There's a tether. What's it stuck to? Oh, it's the bit that broke off. It's under the pipe. Oh, if that pipe goes... The reactor will blow. Oh, no, no. How do you deactivate a tether? Oh, it's really wedged in there as well. Right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is where... Because now the ship is light enough to be pulled by a single tether. Come on. <laughs> no worries, mate. We'll have a good night and we'll, uh, we'll catch you later on. <laughs> Oh no, 
This has all gone horribly wrong. How am I going to get this out of here? <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Oh, the whole ship's going to go cra smashing into there, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I can stabilise it if I hook another tether up to the other side of the... <laughs> the work area. <laughs> oh, it's work though. Now it's just a tug of war between the two tethers. But the pipe is ruptured. So the reactor might be screwed. Can we get back inside and see if we can find a control panel maybe to turn it off? Oh, uh, evening black holes, welcome in. Um, oh, I bet there's no terminal. Everything's all gone pear shaped tonight. <laughs> Can I? Ooh, that was the wrong button to press. Uh, no, I, I, I don't know that one. The reactor's going to go critical, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't find the off switch. There was some, there was some like fun-looking dials that we saw somewhere in amongst the hull. Uh, or is it on? No, it's not even on that side, is it? <laughs> but uh, well, Black Horse, if you've not seen this game before, this is a ship-breaking game. We have a big ship and we are stripping for parts. Uh, different parts have to go in different places to recycle them. And I've got this really bad feeling that the engine's going to explode. <laughs> I, I, I can just feel it coming. <laughs> I can't turn off the cooling system. I could yank out the cooling system. Well, that might make things worse. <laughs> right, let's just, just hop out here for two seconds. Shall I? Ooh, we are really up against this. We had a bit of a disaster in the ship. Like, listed to one side. <laughs> Okay, can we... See, if we could flip the ship over, maybe. Right, that's going there. Ooh, that's got a red light on there. But you know what? What could possibly go wrong? Let's just... Yeah, I don't know what that turned off, but... Oh. I was afraid of that. Well, on a side note, we don't have to worry about salvaging the engine pods. <laughs> Question. Has, has the reactor gone critical? Is it still functional? Oh, that was not good. Both pods detonated. <laughs> Look at the state of it. Oh, and of course it had those. Uh, <laughs> there was like six um, explosive barrels which were stored next to the engine. <laughs> okay, well, 
What could possibly go wrong now? I might as well go for the big one. Cat now. Is it three? Or should I cut through? I might have to cut through the pipe. So there's two pipes coming in. The coolant pipe is still there. Can I get the casings off without causing a disaster? Right, that's going to processing, which is... Salvage is destroyed. Don't do that. <coughs> Every time we do that, we are hitting that pipe. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Chuck that in there. Was that? Do you remember the? Uh, no, I don't. I, I, I don't know that one at all. You have to send us a screenshot or something of it. Uh, where'd that reactor go? Now, the question is, if I yank this, while it's still attached to the cooling system, will the cooling system detonate? Or do I figure out a way to <laughs> shut the cooling system off? Can I take this out? That's fixed in place. Right, I'm going to use my thingy to dislodge the whole plate the shielding around it carefully pull that out and chuck it down there okay right that's going to the barge the barge is above us. Oh, oh this is going to be a disaster, isn't it? <laughs> the, the ship got dragged to the side because it was a bit stuck. <laughs> okay, let's yank it. Nope, 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 nope. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, it's in. <laughs> I think that was the last lethal part. Oh, is that like a, a spaceship recycling game, is it? <laughs> oh, that's still attached to the whole... Like, is the coolant pipes... You know, what could possibly... At this stage, what could possibly go wrong? Let's, uh... <laughs> let's just take out... The cooling system. If it explodes, it explodes. Because we've exploded... Like an eighth of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's yank it. Nope, it is stuck fast. So knack out a few sections of the hole.
Oh, look at these. The cooling system is completely frozen then. Okay, what do we do next? <laughs> What's going to be the best way to just, uh, dismantle a few bits of the, more of this? The backs. Should we tidy up the back section? So much debris. I bet there's nothing salvageable. Okay, let's just clear a little bit of this mess away. Some of the bigger bits down the hole. <coughs> or at least vaguely over there. But we're too close to use that processing chute. Right, let's go and drag those bits. Most of these bits here are for the furnace. How are we going to get rid of all this mess? <laughs> oh, there's so many little bits of fragments. It's like, where to begin? <laughs> Can we crack any of these? No. Let's go and see if there's anything holding those sections on. Oh, that's not a door. Oh, it sounds like that thing is still going. So it looks like we're going to have to cut the hole. Since we're in knack of this, should we have some fun with cutting the hole open? I mean, the ship is well knackered. We got ourselves a nice little opening. <laughs> Be cut a little bit weird. Oh, now it's going to be cut really weird. <laughs> I was hoping I could have thrown it in that uh, direction to make a. Oh well. completely knackered. <laughs> I think this is going to be a bit more of a pain in the ass to dismantle. I think because of the sheer amount of damage we've done, I think what we might do is we might leave the ship and go and have a 10 minute look at one of the new ships. Because we've completely screwed this one up. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll do that. We will... Abandon the shift. Let's see, how much money did we make and how much damage did we cause? Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Free play. I want to have a look at one of these. Um, these ones here. These Atlas ones. We will make a mess. Ooh, what's that there? Um, in your spaceship. Alright, so it's, it's, it's kind of like you, um... Oh, I'm trying to think of another, another old game I used to play that was uh, kind of like sounds similar. But yeah, I, I, I think another sort of game you're playing, but I've, 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 not, I've not played it myself though, but... It sounds like a sort of one that I probably would play. Oh, look at all these. Are the engines housed inside of here? Oh, it looks like they might be. So I've not seen this particular ship before. Uh, every time we load this game up, the, sh the ship that you're stripping is kind of like randomly kind of generated. It has like a base frame, and then it depends on what they put on the inside and the outside. We need to get inside of here. I want to see how these are connected. How many bolts would I have to undo? If we were actually going to dismantle the ship, let's uh, get inside the uh, the airlock. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Let's see how long it takes before we cause an explosive decompression, shall we? Like before. <laughs> airlock pressure level increasing. Okay, so we're pressurized right now. Oh, this is a bit of confusing layout. What have we got down here? Right, that's down to the hole. Uh, I'm not seeing... Actually, can I see the... I'll try to see if I could see the, the oxygen system. Oh, there it is, actually. That looks a bit knackered though, doesn't it? Now that might mean that we might have no choice but to have an explosive decompression. Right, this should get us into the... the hole. Now what's this here? That's a... Oh, that's the reactor side of the ship are we even on here? I totally lost all my <laughs> all my orientation in here. Right, let's look down the hole. It's so murky in here. So if that's the reactor, is it mirrored on the other side? <clears throat> the ship must be in two in two halves. What's that? A GameCube power cell. <laughs> okay, what is that dismantle? Let's just find the air conditioning unit. The air conditioning unit, the life support systems. There it is. Can I? Is there any of our life support systems down here? Oh, actually, no, we are pressurized at the minute. Are all the whole sections open? Is this the last one that's active? Oh. 
Okay, if I was to... So where was the air cycled from? Airlock pressure level increasing. Tell you what, we're just messing around for five minutes. Let's uh, decompress the ship. Let's hold on though. <laughs> One way to get all the stuff out of the ship quickly. <laughs> Have it all blown out in the space. <laughs> okay, so how do we get inside of there then? If that's the only place to where they're connected. So there's bolts over there. That's the end of the engine. Well, now a quick spy. See if we can. Oh, it's all gone everywhere. <laughs> It's a bit where it's connected to the hole. Right there, that's the bit there. Right, stop there, turn that off there. Give me the cotton tool. It looks to be this panel here. Oh, great. Can't be cut. Can it be detached though? Anything else holding this panel up? Let's just knock out these. Is that nacelle nice now loose? Oh yeah, definitely loose. <laughs> so how do we get inside? Oh, hang on, are you telling me there might have been a plate here that we could have got in? Nah, I can't cut through that. <laughs> Yeah, if, if this was in VR. There was another VR game that we played which was in space. Um, oh, what was it called again? Um, Adrift. Um, it was originally supposed to come out on the Xbox, but it, they just didn't bother. The developers said they just you know, didn't want to uh, finish it. Um, but I got it in the sale a couple of years ago. Uh, you can complete the whole game in like four hours. Uh, that that's supposed to be like a VR game. If I had a VR headset, I would have you know, I would have done it. <laughs> ah. Ah, this is how you get in. Right, watch out for those pods there. Right, not there. <clears throat> right, let's pull this off. Valuable components incinerated. Penalty has been applied. Ooh. 
okay, they're now separated, so we can technically get inside there now. Right, that's for the barge, just get rid of it. <coughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> now, questions. <laughs> if I was to yank that, would it detonate straight away? Or would I have a chance to pull it? There's no other... There's nowhere else to get in. You can't get back there. I'm going to risk it. Right, that answers that question. <laughs> Was I supposed to get over to here? Well, the fuel's no longer leaking. <laughs> so how how are we supposed to get into that? Just shut it off. Beforehand, I don't see any way to get in there. Let's just test the hole. No, it's all impenetrable. loose I'm going to try yanking this if I want to gain well, well as in I'll take the this bit of the casing off yeah that's, that's Tim P. <laughs> could he crawl down the side <laughs> oh no stop 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 right, let's just toss this away because we're, we're, we're just having a little mess around for 10 minutes now since we blew up the first ship. Alright, there's one connection severed. Can I get that to the barge? Just so it's out of the way. There it goes. So, is there a way to get down the tube without. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Can I grapple down? Is there any? I'm trying to see if there's like any more bits. Is there anything I can aim at down here? Which would like let me cut the hull away. Because I'm right in thinking that I cannot... Yeah. Cut, I can't cut, I can't slice any of that. I can't yank that without causing it to explode. <laughs> what are those? Chuck that down there. Space paint tins. <laughs> um, hmm. Can 
can I squeeze through that gap at all? I'll try to see if I can like drag myself underneath it. <laughs> but nope, it's too too tight. I definitely know where. See, there's the four pipes. Oh, there's fuel tanks behind them as well. Well, that adds flavour and excitement. Two fuel tanks are behind there. Shall we go for mayhem? <laughs> I just get the right spot. Pixel wide. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's two down. Get that out of there. <coughs> come on, can we get down before this goes critical? This, this is part of the challenge. Oh, we did it. And by doing it, it cracked open. And that one didn't explode. So yeah, it is a case of I think that must be the challenge for this for this designer ship. You have to carefully <laughs> pull out the engine and then zoom down. Well oh, these like cargo pods down the bottom here as well. Yeah, these are just cargo, aren't they? Okay. Now we've made a right mess of this ship as well. <laughs> but I think we finish on a bang. <laughs> Where's that reactor? <laughs> there it is. that well nagged <laughs> it's a an MOT failure definitely <laughs> okay uh, we I think are gonna leave it there for a night so we had technically two failed missions <laughs> but I think I want to come back in a couple of weeks time and actually dismantle the ship properly it's a nice smaller vessel so we should be able to strip it down and these little cargo containers oh is that another engine It's got more engines? <laughs> no, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll leave that there for today. <laughs> Come on, get back to the main menu. <laughs> Anytime.
Okay, who is online that we can go and see? Twitch isn't loading. Okay, who have we got? Tell you what, we are going to go and see uh, Brightblade for a little bit. He is playing Space Engineers. Okay, so what have we got coming up this week? I can't remember. <laughs> so we're back to our regular schedules now um, for the theme night. So tomorrow is continuing the Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, Tuesday is back to Minecraft. Uh, Wednesday we'll be returning to Big Little Adventure. Uh, we left that off, we were just about to infiltrate the factory. Uh, Thursday is Astroneer. Friday is Fallout 3. On Saturday night we're going to have a little bit of uh, fun on Splitgate. And then next Sunday we are playing uh, Moving Out. We're starting, well, we're starting a new campaign in, in, uh, in Moving Out. Because uh, um, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I've, I've done like about ten of the levels already. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a really, really fun, like one of those little weirdly addictive games. But uh, anyway, we'll hop over and we'll go see, uh, go see Bright Blade. So um, have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.